I am Mark Sobel, the Vice President of the Criminal Department for JC Law. Today I'd like to speak to you about DUIs and what to do if your child is charged with a DUI. Obviously this is a concern with the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday in which we do see an increase in DUIs and we see an increase of enforcement by state troopers and local police departments. The three main things that you want to consider is one, is where this case is going to be heard, the jurisdiction of the court. If your child is under the age of 18 and charged with a DUI, then that your child will be charged in juvenile court. The importance of juvenile court is that it, all records are sealed, so nobody's going to see that your child is charged with a DUI. And also, the focus of juvenile court is rehabilitation and not necessarily for punishment. Now, if your child is between the age of 18 and 21, then they will be charged in adult court in the district court in the county in which this occurred. Now that's important because when they're charged in district court, they are charged just like an adult, whether they're 21, 25, 30, 40, 50 years old, they're charged just the same. Two, the second thing that you have to consider is that there are stiffer administrative penalties for anyone under the age of 21. As we're all aware, the legal drinking age is 21 years old. If you're under 21 and you're charged with a DUI, the MVA takes this very seriously. The reasoning is, is that your child technically shouldn't be drinking anyways, especially not drinking and driving. However, there are ways around the stiffer administrative penalties, including participating in the Ignition Interlock Program, better known as the Blow and Go, in which you have to blow into it each time you start your car, and sometimes as on a rolling basis as you're driving. Now, it is very, very important that you immediately retain a competent attorney who specializes in cases of under 21 years old. And the reasoning is, is because there are very, very strict deadlines that you must follow. And if you don't follow those deadlines and you miss it, the MVA, they have no mercy. And there are significant consequences to your child's license. The third important factor to consider is the need for treatment. Now, the need for treatment is important for two very, very important reasons. Number one, the judge and or the state's attorney is going to expect you to be walking at the court with an evaluation done where your child is evaluated for any type of alcohol addiction or dependency and will expect that your child has already began some treatment. Now, it's very important also for a second reason is that your child might need alcohol counseling at this young age. And there may be an issue with alcohol dependency, which we want to nip it in the bud and get it taken care of now. So therefore, you should have your child evaluated and um, start treatment. Now, once again, very important to retain a very competent attorney at this point, because an attorney has not only do we help people in court, but we also assist people in getting the proper treatment and put you in touch with the proper counselors to make sure that your child gets the appropriate treatment that he or she needs in the circumstances. So if you do have the unfortunate, get that unfortunate phone call from your child saying, mom, dad, I was arrested for a DUI. Don't panic, Take, pick up your child, tell them you love them, and call JC Law, because my team and I were ready to go throughout the holiday to help you get through any type of DUI case. Thank you very much.